everyone, welcome to yet another Crash Course video. I'm Rahul from MTC Team 5773 and today we're going to be going over the differences between the Control Hub and the Expansion Hub, what our team is using this season and after experiencing both control systems, which system we prefer. Here we have the Rev Expansion Hub and this is the control system we're going to be going over first. In all of our past seasons, we have used the Rev Expansion Hub. Um, only this season is the Control Hub legal and we have, we have switched to the Control Hub this season. So with the expansion hub, it comes with four motor ports, and these are for DC motors. They can be go build the motors or rev motors. Um, and it also comes with four encoder ports. These encoder ports can be used to code the robot in the teleop and autonomous periods. And lastly here, we have a location in order to wire the battery in order to power the expansion hub. Um, on the left side here, we have analog, digital, and I2C ports. Um, the I2C port can be used to con um, power any sensors and examples of these sensors are the color sensors from REM, the distance sensors, all of those. And the expansion hub and the control hub both have an inbuilt IMU and this IMU can be used in order to ensure that your heading is correct in the autonomous period. And it can also be used to do driver controlled enhancements in the teleop period. Lastly, here we have an RS-485 port. This RS-485 port can be used in order to connect an expansion hub to an expansion hub or a control hub to an expansion hub. So that pretty much takes care of the expansion hub, but let's talk about some of the disadvantages of using the expansion hub. On this side of the expansion hub, there is a mini USB port. Connecting to this mini USB port is a cable that will connect to a phone and this will be your robot controller phone. And using a robot controller phone on the robot has many disadvantages. In many of our past um, qualifier matches, the phone has disconnected due to a loose connection and that's hurt us significantly. Um, it's not even because our robot's like bad or anything, it's because of a loose connection. And the control hub actually eliminates this cable and that's the reason we think a control hub is extremely useful. And with that, we'll go ahead and transition over to the control hub. Now, this is the Rev control hub, and this is on our robot this year. Um, it is currently mounted, and as you may notice, the control hub has a lot more ports. Some of these are the mini USB. That stays the same from the expansion hub. There is a micro SD port. There's an HDMI port. There's a USB-C port and two USB ports. Um, the USB ports can be used to power a webcam, for example while the USB-C port can be used to download code onto your robot. As I mentioned earlier, the Rev Expansion Hub, if you're using it, it requires a phone on the robot. However, with the Control Hub, there's an inbuilt robot controller. And with this inbuilt robot controller, you no longer need a phone on your robot. And this eliminates the need or the chance of wires being disconnected during a match. You'll notice that all the other ports are the same. You still have four motor ports. You still have all of the sensor ports. All the encoder ports stay the same. So the ports on the front view are the same. It's kind of just the ports on the side that are different. And the main difference is the inbuilt robot controller versus the excess of a phone that has a robot controller app on it. Overall, we have discussed the benefits and advantages of using a control hub versus an expansion hub. As a final conclusion, our team definitely promotes getting the control hub. Although it is more expensive to get the control hub, we think that the advantages that it provides uh, will help you significantly during matches and it'll save any other errors. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video and you're liking the channel and the other videos, please hit the subscribe button and leave down um, questions in the comment section if you have any. Thank you.